Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to get straight into the video. I'm going to be speaking about um, error 5665. So some of you have um, been writing in the Amazon FBA Alpha group, um, which I will put up now and there's a link for it below. You can uh, welcome, you're welcome to come join. Um, a lot of people have been asking me questions around the subject. So I've quickly hopped on to address the issue. Over the past few months, Amazon has made, consistently making, as Amazon does, many changes with many things. And one of those things is the way that we're able to use a brand name. Up to now, it was very easy. Anyone could come in and with a private label product or say that it's a private label product and um, put in a brand name and they were allowed to use that. There's a difference between being able to use a brand name and between being brand registered. So what is happening right now is that people are adding a new listing and they want to go in and put a brand name and then they're not able to save the listing or it goes into draft. They can't even save it as a draft because you don't have, you're not brand registered. So many people think that you actually need to be brand registered to use a brand name, which is not true. You can still use your brand name without being, uh, without having a trademark, but you need to send Amazon in some images. So I'm on the Amazon brand name policy. I'm gonna really quickly stop. If you're new here, my name is Sharon Evan and I created this channel to share all sorts of information around e-commerce and around Amazon. I've been selling on Amazon since 2016, but I've been selling online for half of my life for the last 15, almost 16 years. Um, so if you are interested in watching more videos, of not just about this subject, about other subjects too, make sure to subscribe so that you can see more videos that I bring. Anyway, let's get back to this. So we're on the Amazon brand name policy page. I will put a link to this down below so that you guys can actually look at this and read this also yourself. Okay, so let's scroll down a bit and have a look. You've got code here, uh, error code 5661, 5664. And then what most of you are having a problem with is 5665. So let's understand what this means. So we've got here, Amazon must approve your brand before you can use it to list products. Brands should be registered through brand registry, but if your brand is not eligible for brand registry, which means that you don't have a trademark, basically, you can obtain an exception by contacting seller partner support and mentioning error code 5665. When contacting seller um, partner support, provide the following information. The brand name used when creating the listing, images of the product and packaging showing branding on either. Okay, they don't want it on both, they want it, you can have it on both, but if you have it only on one, then that's fine. The images can show the product and packaging held in hand. So if it's a product that you're gonna have, you're either holding it in your hand or placed on a table. The branding must be permanently affixed. Now, for those of you who don't know what it means by permanently affixed, it basically means that it can't be stuck on. Okay, it can't be a sticker. So like I have a pen here, right? And you guys can tell that that it's a barcode, but let's pretend that that was a logo. That can that's a sticker, okay? So if that was something that you would have sent in with your logo, Amazon would not accept that. It needs to be permanently affixed as in it's either sewn on or it's printed on or whatever it may be. If using inventory file templates, please also provide the batch ID of the inventory file process report. For more information, please review our brand name policy. Now, if you click on this, it just takes you back to this page. Now, I wanna make it clear. I have, uh, all of my brands are registered. I've got trademarks for all of, I've got three brands and I've got trademarks for all. I have not done what I'm about to show you on my own products. I have helped people do this with um, their own products. So it's not on my own, but I have done it with people that I've done one-on-one -on -one coaching with. Now, I really thought hard about whether I'm gonna, if I make this video, whether I should make it or I shouldn't make it. And I'll explain to you why. Amazon's come in and done this so that it will be one step closer to ha having less hijackers and to having less products that are basically just copy-pasted products. Um, and I think this is great because it's stopping that barrier of entry for everyone, right? Not everyone is going to go through all these steps and not everyone is going to, um, to be able to do this. 
And then I come along making this video. And basically, if this is like, I'm no genius. This isn't something that like none of you could have thought of yourself. What I've done with some of my clients is some of my clients sell products that it has been very easy to Photoshop their logo on the product. And I'm gonna show you what that looks like in a second. Um, now, what happens is many of you are going to be in a situation where you don't yet have your final product. That's why you need to be able to put up your listing so you can get your F and SKUs and you can send that to your supplier and then you can start doing that. And many of you are not gonna be at that place yet where you actually have a final product. So your question is, well, what do I send in? This could now delay your, you know, you starting up by quite a few weeks. However, most of you will either have a sample in your hand or you have your supplier that can take a photo of a product that is extremely similar to the one that you're about to sell. Even if it's not the exact design, if it's very similar, that's all Amazon really cares about at the end of the day. So I have here a jade roller. I can see the sun starting to, okay, I've got a jade roller and the packaging it came with. This is a product which I highly recommend no one sells, but this is something that I was thinking of adding to my um, beauty, to one of my beauty brands about three years ago. This sample's been sitting here for about three years, and as you can see, it has no branding on it whatsoever. Now, I'm gonna use this as, as an example for what I've done with a few of my clients. Basically, the reason Amazon wants you to take a photo either on your hand or on the table is so that they can see that it's actually on it and it's not a 3D version where you've just sent it to a, a graphics designer if they made you a you know 3D version of it. So what I did is I went over here and hey, look, I have a logo on this jade roller. This is, I took this photo on the table behind me and you can see it here with the packaging Okay, that's the packaging. This is basically what you see then. You can see that it's on a table. I could have also taken out my hand and the example would have been exactly the same. So what I did is, uh, and I'll show you guys, is this is what the logo looked like. I'm currently on Canva and the logo looked like this, right? And the logo looked like this. This was what the box looked like and this is what the logo looked like. I went and got, this is obviously Unicargo is not my brand. Unicargo is my shipping company. No, not mine, but it's a shipping company, the freight forwarding company that I use. And I have their permission to use their logo just for this example, okay? So basically I went and took their logo and I've got it on a transparent background. And what I've done is I have taken the transparency and basically faded it out a little bit, right? And then I've gone ahead and taken their logo and just placed it on the box, right? Like this. Okay, you can play around with it, make sure it's pretty straight. Now I'm gonna put my glasses on, but this looks pretty real. Like this looks real. If I would have showed you this, you probably would not have known that this is not real. I can play around with this a little bit more and it could look like that. Same thing with this, this is not here. Right, I just went and put it on here and there is like no way that anyone could prove that this is not real. It looks very, very real, right? And this is what actually many, many jade rollers that have a um, any sort of writing on it or any sort of logo printed on it, this is actually what it looks like. It looks pretty faded. Now I could have done this to almost any product where it makes sense that I could do this on. Now this isn't going to make sense for Everyone, not all of you are going to have products where it's going to be easy to do this. Um, but for example, if you sell a bag or if it is, you know, I've got a million things around me right now, or if it is some sort of cup or whatever it is, most of these products you would be able to play around with it. Like it's not, remember these images that you're sending, they're going to be, they're not going to be on the front end. Amazon doesn't come back and compare this to the final product that you have. And once you do this on one product, you don't need to do it again. So this is just an alternative for something that you can do if you are in a situation where you do not yet have um, a final sample, but you need to get your listing up ASAP. Um, obviously do this in a way where it looks real. Okay, if you're gonna do this and it's gonna look fake, don't do it. 
if you are going to take images and again if you're getting your supplier to take photos of this the photos need to be taken in a way where if you're going to be placing a logo on it it needs to look authentic um, so also you may have to go back and forth and get them to, to retake some images for you to get a final sample with your actual logo on it could literally take weeks. So this is just a quick fix, right? And this has worked for other people that have coached. Uh, we've been able to get away with this. So I believe that if they've been able to get away with it, you'll be able to get away with this. Again, like it needs to look real and it needs to look really well done. So um, this is an option that you have you know, to me, this looks extremely real and there's no doubt in my mind that this would have gotten past Amazon as well. Now, some of you may be, Amazon may come back and ask for you to also add, uh, they also want to see your UPC code on the uh, product. So in this case, I would have literally just flipped the, the case the, of the packaging, um, like this box, I would have just flipped it over and I would have printed out a UPC code and I would have put it on it, I would have stuck it on it and that would have taken me like 10 minutes to do. All right, now I wouldn't have done sellotape and things like that, and what I'm speaking about, some of you are gonna be like, oh my God, like that's so much work, but what's better? Do you prefer to wait now three or four weeks or two weeks, right? Like why wait that long if you can just quickly go and do this yourself in a way where it looks real, right? So if Amazon does ask you to come back and they want to see your UPC code as well, even if you mean to have actually an FN SKU code, Okay, an FN SKU barcode. Anyway, they're still going to need to see your UPC code. If they're asking for that, go and find a, if you, if, if you have a UPC code and you don't have an actual barcode, you can get the barcode for it very easily from Fiverr, although you should be using GS1 barcodes anyway, and then you should have a uh, version, uh, barcode version of it, but it costs like $5 to get it done on Fiverr. They just give you a bar barcode version, you just give them the number. And then you can go and print it out and stick it on here on the other side, take a photo of it and send it to Amazon. So a lot of people have gotten away with doing this. This is one option. Otherwise, if you're able to get an actual photo of your product with your branding on it, great stuff, send it into Amazon. So how do you send it into Amazon? Let's go back over here. Okay, so we're in uh, one of my Seller Central accounts and on the top right hand corner, it will say help. You wanna click on help and you want to click on support. Okay, and from here you want to click on need more help, get support. Selling on Amazon. And then you wanna to go to products, listings or inventory. And then trouble adding a product. From here you want to click on need more help with this issue, contact us. Okay, and then it's going to give you this. So what I do here is I change this to error 5665, and then I will type in here, um, I am trying to add a listing using my brand name, which is Unicargo, please find attached images of my product and packaging with my branding on it okay now it's going to show you here the phone option right now you don't want them to call you you want to email them so you're going to change this to email you say your email address here um i just took mine out but you can put it would say your email address here uh, you put in your phone number as well and if you don't live in the united states you just click here and choose the right country and here is where you add the attachments. So it says here, add attachments. You click on that and you add the attachments. Now notice how you are also naming the uh, image that you're sending in. So name it, um, for example, here would be Uni Cargo Front, Uni Cargo Side, Uni Cargo Packaging, whatever. I'd use my brand name and then explain what the, pro what the image itself is showing. Okay, and then I would click on send and usually within about two or so days, they get back to you. Now, the alternative that people, I also was saying this about a month ago and it was fine until a few weeks back. The alternative to doing this and not having to actually go through this process is you can put where it asks you for a brand name, you can put in NA, not applicable. 
But if you do this, you need to know that it's going to be a huge pain in the butt to then connect it back to your brand name. You're going to need to wait until inventory is actually inside of Amazon until you can get approved to change it from NA to um, whatever your brand name is. So I highly recommend that you do not put in NA. And if you do, or if you've already done that and you now want to go and change your brand name, you're either gonna to have to wait until you have um, inventory in Amazon, or you're just going to have to start it all over again and start off with a, uh, with a new barcode. And yes, if you use the GS1 barcode, which you should be using a GS1 barcode, but if you use a GS1 barcode and you now have to give up on that barcode, what's more important to you, your time or uh, the money? And here in this case, it's time. So this is an option that you have and this is how you can do that. And um, this is also, I haven't gotten a, a video on how I use Canva. I'm pretty sure that you guys can go to YouTube, type in how to use Canva. It's really straightforward. Um, and Canva is what I used to put on the logo. Um, and if you guys have any questions I'm here to answer, feel free to ask them down below or in my Facebook group, Amazon FBA Alphas. And um, if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching for Amazon sellers and you can also see the link down below. I hope that this was able to clear up all the drama around ARIS 5665 and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.